need to be considered. Yeah? First is the Faraday's law. Second is the Lenz law. Okay? Faraday's law and Lenz law. Okay? Faraday's law focus on the magnitude. Okay? Uh, it's about induced EMF. Huh? I mean, what is mean by induced EMF? Induced EMF means EMF is produced, is generated. Okay, like electric generator. Uh, it produces the uh, electric current. Okay? Uh, so, Faraday talks about magnitude of this induced EMF. Lenz law focuses on the direction of this induced EMF. Okay? Now, we talk about Faraday's law first. Okay? So, Faraday's law, his equation is this one. Yeah? Induced EMF is proportional to the... Induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux. Uh, rate of change of magnetic flux. Uh, okay? The magnetic flux is changing. Yeah? The rate of change of magnetic flux. So, you see, uh, dt means the rate lah. The rate of change of magnetic flux. Uh, if uh, this symbol is called magnetic flux linkage, uh, small small phi, yeah, big phi is magnetic flux linkage. Small phi is magnetic flux. Uh, this one is many turns, isn't it? Many turns. And uh, this one is just for one, one turn. turn. We just bring out the number of turns outside. Number of turns we just put beside. So these two equation actually is the same. Okay. Uh, this one is for many flux. This one is just for one flux multiplied by the all the turns. Okay? Uh, of course, and here got a negative sign. This one is for Lenz law. Eh? This for Lenz law. So, uh, how? Yeah, actually, how this EMF is induced, is produced? How? How is it produced? Uh, what he says that you want the EMF to produce, there must be a change of magnetic flux. Okay, what is magnetic flux? Still remember what is magnetic flux? Magnetic field lines pass through certain area. All the magnetic field lines that pass through that area is the magnetic flux. The magnetic field line that doesn't pass through the area is not the magnetic flux. Okay? So you must have an area and also the magnetic field. Okay? Uh, so there must be a, to have to produce the EMF. The, there must be a change of magnetic flux happening. Yeah? Change of magnetic flux must take place. Okay? Uh, let's see how the change of magnetic flux. Okay. So here you can see um, here you have magnetic field lines, isn't it? Magnetic field, this one is going into the page, right? Yes. Uh, going into the page. And here there is a area, a coil with an area. Okay. So magnetic flux. What is magnetic flux? Magnetic flux is the magnetic field line that passes through this area only. Uh, so as we can see, the magnetic field line that passes through is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 magnetic flux here, isn't it? Uh, of course, this line is just imaginary line. You cannot count. Actually, you cannot count the magnetic flux. Okay? This one is just the representation. Okay? Uh, so uh, so uh, here also have magnetic flux. So here you have initial and final. Huh? So what happened here is, um, if you look at the initial and final compare, what has what has been changed? Is the area changed? No. Area doesn't change. What change? Magnetic field. Huh? The magnetic field increases or decreases? Increase. Increase. Uh, magnetic field has increased. So it becomes stronger magnetic field, isn't it? So now. If you look at the magnetic flux, what has happened? What has happened to the magnetic flux that passed through this area? Is there any changes? Yes. More magnetic flux now pass through this area, isn't it? Yes. Ah, so there is a there is a, some change of magnetic flux. Uh, there is some change of magnetic flux. Okay. Ah, we need uh, we need a certain time. Uh, in certain time, uh, let's say uh, in a very short time, suddenly the flux changes, magnetic flux changes, uh, what will happen to this coil? It will produce current. Yeah, it will produce 
current. Uh, there is uh, some way lah, uh, to find the current. Yeah. Uh, so maybe the current is produced this way. Yeah. Induced current. Okay. Uh. So it's just like you see ah. Uh, actually, this one, this wire is not connected to any battery, right? Is it connected to any battery? No. no. It it does not connect to any battery. But suddenly. When you change the mag uh, the magnet, the magnet uh, from weak becomes strong. So the flux also changes. Okay, so suddenly there is current inside the wire. Uh, suddenly there is current inside the wire. So if this wire is connected to let's say an LED, LED, uh, this LED will light up by just changing the magnetic by just changing the magnetic field. Okay, uh, why EMF? Why this current will induce? Because there is change of magnetic flux. Okay? The condition to produce EMF is there must be a change of what? Change of magnetic flux. And if this thing happens very in a very short time, tiba -tiba, yeah, the magnetic flux changes in a very short time, uh, a lot of EMF is produced. When a lot of EMF is produced, there will be a lot of current produce okay so uh, this this formula e induced also can be equal to i induced multiplied resistance okay 